Hello guys and welcome to yet another episode of Faith Faith Show and today is an amazing story, an amazing vibe, an amazing guy at Petro Story. He has been through a lot. Na before that, nataka tu aanze, tu naka introduction kidogo, nasikia ya ni msani, so atupe kama ka freestyle hivi, <laughs> tukianza. Aiz kikweta alifanya uchabuzi, ya kama shikambuzi, ya kama nyo wa mafu, mbuzi ya lili ya meme, msani, mbuzi ya lili ya meme. Kumajina, mi naituwa George, I'm chilling with the chick. Kukua ze? Kukua. Kukua wetu mnoma. So, I'm going to talk about story one, two. About you, I'm going to talk about an amazing story. So, I'm going to talk about your story. Yeah. It's all. Me, in fact, I'm going to talk about more in this life. This is how I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. Now, I'm going to talk about it. 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 Kaji wa kanguari, melele wa kanguari. Speaking the truth, mama na dadu wali achana dia tu chonda. So, life ika wa crucial soto. So, ume ulitoka kwa wazazi ya 2000? Kwa wazazi, minu matoka dia 2000. So, ukanza kushia jie life? First, nilianza na children's home. Nile, nile toroka home, mene kaila nkaka children's home. Moja yiku hapa yuwe kibira. Nili kwa hapa yuwe kibira. Saizi na siki ime hama yiku machakos. Nili kwa naka children's home nye netwara kids. Huko nime ka like four good years. And then I left, naka rudi home. Kakaka kidogo na madetu kakoro lita na kidogo yiku pidi nime toro. Kadis kudis ni kena ni kaka anza kuishi ya Mombasa. Mombasa ya sopa ni meka like kusema ni kipu. Ziunganisha zoto utapata ni 8 years. So life Mombasa itikuwa ati? Na ukuwa naishi kwa nani? The life in Mombasa was so tricky. At the first when you were rich. Because I didn't have a place to stay. I didn't have someone who could lend me then a pair of cloth. Something like that. So you could be the mekuwa tricky kwangu kabidi na lala kwa mabanda daily eh utoke uombe uombe watu chakula ndio kule eh kula ni nitoke niende niombe eh at that time bado nilikuwa kid so unaweza fuata mtu kama approach ukamuomba akakufanyia mambo maybe akakunyia chakula na aswa upande mwingine Mombasa unapata idadi kubwa watu walali kwa manyumba na pata wote na la street so hapo hivyo i got to another privilege kwa zikifika kitu cha saba kuna mali pana ya Mombasa cement na gawa ga chakula ni pana ndao uko na pata chakula na ala ulika Mombasa for like 8 years yeah yeah so after that mm. what next after that nika ndia nikaanza venye nilianza kukoma koma kabidi nimeanza kwanza hizi ma unatafuta kibarua hivi uvige ndi ule kapata kibarua ya ya nini ya kuza mayai nilikuwa nazijuzia mayai mwanzo nikauza almost one, one good year nikauza mayai uh, nikakula pesa ya stock <laughs> sisi ni hachocha nikakula pesa ya stock nikarudi nikakaa tena nikapata kazi ya breakdown kanza sasa kupiga kazi ya breakdown nimepiga breakdown so far miaka 4 tamu kitu mbasa sasa najua ni kitu mbasa bado miaka 4 nikaachana kazi ya breakdown nikaja nikaanza kazi ya kuza saa marijuana nikaweza marijuana kama muda wa mwaka mmoja na nusu hivi marijuana ni bangi so in that process ya kuza marijuana me kumbana na maafisa kama na tatu mingi kama ni kwa ndani kashiri ni ka lala jela kama miezi sita mingine ni kachapa mwaka so the first time ulishikuwa miezi sita ya ya kwanza kwanza kwa Nairobi Mombasa so ni kaskuma ni kamadiza ni katoka kutoka badu ni kandile na kuzama rijuana so 
masanzi wa karudi tena so because penye nilikuwa nauza police station ni same iko kama outside the road na mimi nauza so ni risk taker so nikashikwa na police wa central police because penye nilikuwa na central like company nikashikwa kama ndio hiyo mara ya pili sasa nilikuwa nikakata kesi kabidi tumeenda saa maneno ya kesi kesi kibati nzuri maafisa wako wanaonyesha wako wanaonekana kwa katika nini kodi so ikabidi niachiliwa na mahakama so hii yote ki happen kushikwa hiyo mm. mama alikuwa anasema nini eh uh, mimi nikishikwa siko nafikia my parent hata kutimu although my mom's number no one need to have lakini nipigie no so hapo hii jua what is going on ajaiwa nishika wakanipandikia kesi ya kwamba nilikuwa nimepatikana ni kitu kama nataka uvio hiyo so nilipelekwa nilipelekwa ka kama ni tatu na kwa hiyo ndio ndio kesi ni something na kuna story hapo nimesikia about uh, so kupigwa na mob justice mob justice sasa hii litotelezea bado naishi Mombasa mobile ni kula lingana na mie maybe kabla ni ingia hizi maneno ya breakdown ni nini niko na pale kazi ya pake eh na na pake na pake gari kwa pake alafu na ni nio na ni sort katika kitu kwa pale go kali kwa nio wa wa supermarket au river meenda mimi ndo nitabaki pale go nitoka kwa gari so coincidental ndiko na gari na nijaachiwa niangalie na ama huko mnawaita majanti huko tunawaita mateja mteja kaja kabunja said mira kabunja said mira ikabidi mimi nimetoroka kwa hiyo walikuja ni watu wamenizidiki ikabidi nimetoroka kutoroka mimi kuna mtu anajiomba kabisa pindi muka akanipata mpaka pale base ka leta au majamaa au majamaa kanishika na ndipo na wasomaji nishika wakanidima kunidima maliza kama siku tatu kama siwezi kunywa maji wala kula so ukipigwa hivyo labda kuna mtu anakusaidia on the contrary kuna wale wezi moja kati yao aliapia mimi nikamuona nikasema huyu ndio kipa siku mbili mimi siwezi so ndio wale watu wanyachilia so hiyo hiyo take happen ulikuwa na dance sasa wewe ndio
Ayo ili pata nisha tembea kutuka oza ye from Ororo mbaka mjini town na hapa hivyo ye mwenyeo Mwaza Iyo badu nini kwa naendelea kukanyaga nita kwa mali pana ito dungo kundu Nika pata uo nini 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 Nishupisha Riverside Spear River whatever So nikatembea pia Toka huko mbaka huko Siku mwilezi ya The Tragedy Nye nipitia hezo miyakanane yote Nilitulia kina mwistori yangu on my own So life nipuwa ati tukukikisa na hivyo Ya Nyeza shukuru ile kidogo yenye kupata. Kwa kulingana na maisha yenye kwa naishi Mombasa nikikompare na hapa ana the life right now at least imenipea basi auto. Baki kabisa madeni na kwa kizi yangu. Eh mimi kwa sasa ina fikra. Na sasa hizo ni rap. Eh hii rap ni kitu tu tuseme huwa inapatikana kwa mtu ile kitada tatu kila mtu ana talent zake. So, you want to make me perfect? Yeah, I'm going to say that by God's will, I'm going to say perfect. So, we're going to get to know someone out there, another vision, and we're going to do life like this. You're going to say that you're going to do it. You're going to say that you're going to do it. You're going to say that you're going to do it. You're going to say that you're going to do it. Chacha tu, you have to know how to live with people. Kisha juu kuishi na watu, amna mani kupoto na kupona zeyenda ukashindo kuishi. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, Faith Faye. Na pale Facebook, Faith Faye Facebook page.